In this section, we'll cover an overview of winemaking and enology, which is the study of wine and winemaking, and then cover how different practices and processing can contribute distinction to wines. Again, this lecture will be mostly keyword, so be sure to take notes and make sure to revisit anytime. We'll go over the three wine types and how each are made, white, rosé, and red wine production. Now, while we cover wine production in this section, we'll be making it pretty basic to build a good foundation of knowledge. It's important to know, though, that all along these processes, there are about a million different ways a winemaker can craft something truly unique. And what I mean by that is there are countless practices for making wine all over the world. That is part of the reason why a varietal like Malbec from France can taste so different than a Malbec made in Chile. Different cultures make wines in different ways and different people make wines in different ways. That's part of the art and beauty of wine. It is a medium. Think of it this way. Michelangelo said, every block of stone has a statue inside it and it is the task of the sculptor to discover it. Grapes are a block of stone. Winemakers will use many different tools and methods to discover and uncover the beauty of the wine that lies within it. Some are heavy-handed, some act very subtly, but in the end we find a statue, and after the statue is created, if you will, and the wine goes into the bottle, each person can form their own opinion of the beauty of that statue. Now don't get me wrong, I'm no Michelangelo, but that's a good way of looking at how different winemakers see the craft that they're involved in. Now that we've covered a little bit of the philosophy, let's talk practicalities. On to white wine.